up guys, it's Minotaris, aka Minnow, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today, I'm reacting to Rob Zombie's new song and music video for the eternal struggles of the Howling Man. Now, I know a few Rob Zombie songs, and I've seen his Halloween movies, but I don't feel like I know a lot about Rob Zombie for some reason. Like, I'm kind of surprised because what I have heard from his music, I do really, really like. So, but I haven't really, like, delved, like, super deep into, like, his catalog or really anything about him, per se. Um, but, you know, beside all that, uh, I am really excited to check out this song. Uh, if there are other songs by him that you'd like me to check out and listen to, definitely let me know down below. Um, don't recommend Dragula. I feel like everyone's seen that. I've seen it. Don't recommend that one. But, like, anything outside of that, um, I mean, like I said, I've heard of a handful of his songs, but chances are maybe if you comment down below a song that I should check out to, I probably haven't heard it. So, definitely do that. Also, before we get started, I'm going to just shamelessly plug in that I am a Twitch streamer. I can't say shamelessly. Like, at the very end of the video, you're about to see my stream schedule again anyways. But regardless, I stream on Twitch Monday through Friday around 8 p.m. Central, and I play all sorts of games. I play shooters, I play horror games, sometimes I do just chatting, and sometimes we do some IRL streams like cooking and, and painting and all that good stuff. So if you'd like to check me out there, you can do so down below. And then, uh, I think that's about it, I guess. Um, aside from, you know, like this video if you enjoyed it, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But you've heard that spiel by like every YouTuber. So, without further ado, let's get started. I have seen John 5 live a few times and he's really good like with just his solo stuff. This is already really fun. Got my happy dance approval. This is cool. It's a, a different transition. I wasn't quite expecting this. It's like real chill.
this is so cool. Whoa, that was kind of trippy. Like the, the optical illusion. Alrighty, that was the eternal struggles of the howling man, and uh, woo! <laughs> I liked that part. Although, I mean, if you've seen Fuller House, I think it's the second season. It has to be because I didn't watch anything after that. In fact, I don't even think I finished the second season. But every time I hear like little like Kyle, like bleh, I can't talk. Words are hard, apparently. Every time I hear coyote noises or like wolf noises, going ow. I just think Fuller House now. Um, <laughs> but still, it didn't take away from the song. It was a fun song. I really enjoyed it. It's just energetic, as pretty much all of his songs, uh, at least from what I've heard. And it makes me feel like just a sense of uh, warmth and fuzziness, and which is weird because I, I get it, it's metal and it's Rob Zombie. Fuzziness as in, like, I think summertime every time I listen to his music. Like, I think... I want to get together with my friends. I want to hang out. I just want to kick back, you know, have a good time. That's like what his music is. Although I also get like old, old dude, like rocker, like biker dude vibes too. Nothing wrong with that. I ain't shaming. Okay. I'm just saying that's the vibes that I get. But also with this song, I noticed that there were some political references, which, you know, as a lot of songs are, because <laughs> unless they live under a rock, a lot's happening in the U.S. and around the world in general. But in the U.S. specifically, um, <laughs> yeah, a lot's happening. I don't want to get too political. I'm. If you have a brain, you picked out the political references. I don't think I need to explain them. If I do, well, I don't want to get too political on this channel, but... Let's go with this. I like um, the part where they were saying uh, power to the people. I feel like that would, like this song would be so fun to see live because then collectively you just get like a mass group of people together all chanting power to the people. And I think that could really resonate and send a message. And I think it's important to have a voice, especially now more than ever. So overall cool song. I really enjoyed it. What do you think? Definitely comment down below. And let me know what else you'd like me to react to. And I will catch you all in the next reaction video. Alright, see y'all later. Bye!